I think uh, civic engagement and city building and urban planning is so crucial and fundamental to building out an equitable social infrastructure. Uh, for myself, I grew up in Ruxdale, uh, where I went to high school. I remember growing up as a child and really just having certain guardrails around what was possible and what was not possible for what I might grow up to be and what I might grow up to do as a leader. And I think as we create um, an equitable and inclusive social infrastructure, we start to dissipate some of that social disequilibria that results from you know this broadly diverse network that can happen in an urban setting when you're bringing together so many people uh, and for me being part of the eln is exactly where we can start to see that diversity in leaders um, and having leaders that are representative to create a social framework uh, that supports people to know that there are no guardrails around what a leader can look like and what a leader can be. So I think as we consider the Emerging Leaders Network, um, one of the points in my life that is a huge inspiration for me as to how the ELN can be impactful uh, is because I am a mom to uh, an 11 year old boy. When I think about the kinds of issues and ideas that he's exploring in grade six, and I think about my role within the city uh, and how I can help create a more representative environment for leaders. Uh, because I'm a single mom, I really hope to make an impact as someone who has navigated uh, different walks of life throughout my career, throughout different board positions, uh, and really just to create an ecosystem that would represent the kind of city, world, uh, and design systems that I would wish for my child to be a part of and to be a leader within.